In today's video, we're gonna shine this pair of cowboy boots. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. These Justin cowboy boots have been sent in to us for our shoe shine program. It's a beautiful pair of ostrich skin boots. Uh, and I just really love a nice cowboy boot with kind of the pitched heel. Uh, and then of course, all the decorative artwork that you get here kind of along the leg of the boot. So this is a beautiful boot, but you can see it's been used and it's time for a shoe shine. So when shining a pair of boots, I like to take a little bit of a different approach than I do uh, with a pair of dress shoes. So it's a little bit more hard wearing on a pair of cowboy boots. Uh, typically they become a little bit more dirty or a little bit dirtier than your average pair of dress shoes. So one of the things that I really like to do different, uh, differently is of course, depending on how dirty they are, is use something like the Saphir leather cleaning soap uh, to clean the boots first before I go on to conditioning and shining them. Uh, it just really helps kind of clear off all the dirt and we see quite a, uh, quite a bit of welt build up, especially here along the welt uh, and then kind of along uh, the vamp and even on, on the leg here. The other thing is in order to condition the leg of the boot, as you can see, I mean, there is a lot of leather here. And so I like to use the universal cream just because it's a little bit more liquidy than say something like the Saphir Renovateur. And then so over this large area, I find that this is easier to condition with than using uh, the Saphir Renovateur. Now the Renovateur is great. It's gonna do an excellent job conditioning the boot. You're just gonna have to spend a little bit more time spreading it around. So let's get started on these beautiful boots and see what we can do for them. I'm using one of our uh, large cleaning daubers and the Saphir Leather Cleaning Soap. Uh, this is the 200 ml uh, version, which is the large. I'm gonna get a little bit of this on my brush. What I like about this dauber is how large and generously sized it is. Whenever it comes to shampooing uh, a pair of boots, you really want a large dauber, and that's why this uh, Wellington Extra Large Dauber really uh, does a great job. Now when shampooing, I just focus uh, on the, the vamp, the upper. I don't focus on the actual leg of the boot. You wanna make sure that you get into that welt, you know, kind of right here in between the upper uh, and uh, what, or I guess the welt, so right here where the upper kind of meets the outsole because there's always going to be some dirt that gets in there. Just work on this. Another thing I love about the leather cleaning soap is it's not a saddle soap. So it's less dehydrating than a saddle soap. It really kind of helps nourish the leather a little bit. So uh, if you're going to be using uh, any product like this, uh, the leather cleaning soap really is the product to use. So after you shampoo it, just simply wipe it off using a clean chamois. Depending on how much water you use, you do want to allow the boot to dry before you try to polish it. Uh, but just light shampooing like this, you know, really just in a few minutes, these should be ready to take some, uh, some polish. I'm going to just buff them real quick. Again, let these bristles kind of get in there. This is our extra large uh, shoe shine brush. And again, I'm just kind of tapping it in to just get into that area in between the upper uh, and the welt to just get any of those suds out. Okay, we're gonna set this boot aside. And let this dry while we shampoo the next one. So here we are, just a little bit of leather cleaning soap. You can see uh, these are already cleaner and looking good. Our next step is going to be to condition the shoes. Uh, I'm gonna condition uh, the uppers using the Saphir Renovateur. This is a mink oil based cleaner and conditioner. It's like liquid gold for leather. Uh, what I love about the Renovateur is you can use it on almost anything. I mean, any smooth leather, anything that's not suede, the Renovateur is great with. So this ostrich, it's gonna be exceptional for this. 
and then we're going to use the universal cream on the actual bootleg to condition. Okay, so first we're going to apply the Saphir Renovator uh, to the uh, kind of the upper of the boot. So this is this area that goes around the foot, uh, not to be confused with the leg. And I like to use the Saphir Renovator again because it's such an exceptional conditioner. And so with a pair of boots like this, that of course is, uh, you know, seeing a lot of action, it's really important to condition the leather to keep it soft, supple, hydrated, and to prevent any type of cracking. So I like to apply this just with a cotton chamois. And you really want to work it into the leather using medium to firm pressure. You can see the leather begin to darken. Now that simply means that it's working. It's being absorbed into the leather. Um, and so if you didn't see the color of the skin change at all, uh, then it would probably mean that it wasn't actually taking any of the polish. So it's actually a very good sign that uh, the conditioner is working. It's penetrating the ostrich skin uh, to do its job. You want to pay extra attention to get in here, you know, at the bottom of the upper right where it meets the welt. It's an easy area to uh, neglect. And so just, you know, take your chamois uh, and really kind of get it in there. For one, the polish will help further clean that, uh, get any uh, dirt or grime off of that that the leather cleaning soap didn't. Uh, and again, it's a very important to condition that area of the shoe. All right, I'm going to set this aside, allow that to dry uh, while I work on the second boot. So while the Renovator continues to dry on the vamp, I'm going to go ahead and condition uh, the leg of the boot. I'm going to lie this flat, and again, it's quite large. Uh, I love the design here. And again, I'm going to apply this using the um, the universal leather bomb. So this is a little bit different. It's, it's like the Saphir leather lotion, but it's a little bit uh, more liquid, more viscous, so it applies easier. Uh, but this really is kind of in the same family as the Saphir Renovator, the Saphir leather lotion, and then the universal uh, cream. Uh, again, it's really kind of all in the same family. So I'm gonna apply a generous amount to my chamois, and then I'm just gonna start applying this. Now you really want to work it into the leather. So it's an ostrich upper. Uh, this is ostrich leg, so it has less of a quill pattern to it. Uh, and most likely this is just a standard calfskin uh, leg here, which is pretty normal. So working this in. So whereas the Renovator has quite a bit of waxes, uh, the Universal Cream has less of a wax content. So we're just, you know, it's gonna be less important to buff this out. Again, paying close attention to getting it here right at the seam. I mean, those are the areas of the boot that it's really important to keep that leather soft and supple to prevent any type of tearing. There's always a lot of strain, you know, right here where the leg of the boot meets the upper. You can tell it's been a while since this leather's been conditioned. I mean, it's just drinking of this polish up. Okay, that looks good. We're gonna set this boot aside 
And while that is drying, uh, we'll continue to work on the other one. So these are really looking good. I mean, you can just feel how much softer the leather is. I haven't even buffed it yet. Uh, now I'm just running my hand kind of along the upper. Uh, with the Saphir Renovator, you really want to make sure that it dries completely before you buff it off. And you can feel that if you run your hand across it and it feels kind of tacky to the touch, uh, that means that it hasn't had an opportunity to fully dry. Uh, if you buff it before it dries, you won't get that shine. Uh, and you know, the leather will not have had uh, a full opportunity uh, to really absorb all those nutrients. And so you want to give the leather as much time as possible to dry. If anything, I'd say more often than not, your tendency is to rush the process. Uh, I really enjoy shining a pair of shoes, you know, over the course of an entire day or over the course of several days. You know, I'll apply some polish, set them aside, come back, you know, in a few hours of the next day and then move on to the next step. So, you know, the more time you can put in between steps, uh, really the better it is uh, for allowing that leather more time to absorb and for the waxes to fully harden and set. Uh, but this is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna buff this, you know, using my pig bristle brush. It's a little bit of a stiffer bristle brush uh, than the horsehair, uh, just to really kind of work that uh, renovator uh, out of the leather into a nice uh, kind of soft shine. Um, so let's get going. I mean, just after a few buffs, you can see how that is really starting to shine again. That's what I love about the Renovator. Not only is it an exceptional conditioner, uh, but it does a great job providing that soft satin shine. I mean, it's not a high gloss. It's not like anything you get with the wax polish. And it doesn't have pigment, which we're going to introduce through the Pomodier Cream Polish. But for an all-purpose cleaner and conditioner, it's really hard to beat the Saphir Renovator. <laughs> So there we go, looking nice. I mean, nice soft shine. I mean, the boots certainly look better than they did whenever we started, but you can tell they still need a little something. Uh, and really what I think they need is some pigment. Uh, whenever it comes to the primary care of uh, shoes or boots in this case, it's really important to use a pigmented shoe polish. The reason is over time, inevitably, shoes need that pigment to kind of resaturate that color, the finish to even the finish out. And so at some point, uh, even if you don't use a pigmented cream every single time you shine your shoes, uh, it is absolutely essential to use. Uh, the conditioner, the Saphir Renovator, has done a great job conditioning the leather, uh, but we really need to add pigment, and we're gonna do that with the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish. Now, what I love about the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish is it's available in 16 different colors. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, I think there's like five or six different browns uh, just alone. And so there's a lot of different uh, pigment choices you can choose. Uh, I've got right here, this is the, um, just the medium brown. I mean, as you can see, it's a real close match. Uh, it's a nice kind of chocolate brown, milk chocolate, if you will. Uh, and so this will help, again, kind of bring in that background color to even out that finish. Now I'm just going to apply it to the uppers. I'm not gonna apply it to the shaft. And the reason you really wanna do that, especially on cowboy boots, is all this decorative stitching. If I were to just throw a pigmented cream polish on top of that, uh, that pigment would change the color of the stitching itself. So that's why when it comes to the leg of the boot, uh, you really just wanna make sure you use uh, just a neutral conditioner. Uh, but whenever it comes to the bottom uh, boot, a pigmented cream polish really will go a long way. So I'm gonna apply it much the same way I did the Saphir Renovator. I've got my trusty uh, kind of Wellington chamois here. I'm gonna find a clean area of the chamois uh, that doesn't have any of the, uh, the conditioner on it. And um, again, this boot's quite dry. So I'm gonna actually take a pretty liberal application here, maybe a little bit uh, 
larger or kind of a more generous application than what I would do on a traditional um, boot or shoe. Uh, but again, these boots, uh, really it's been a while since they've been polished. So as long as you work that into the leather uh, and allow it time to dry, it'll buff off quite easily. The other great thing about the Pomodier Cream Polish uh, is that it helps further condition and nourish the leather. I mean, cream polishes really do such a fantastic job. Again, it's why I really recommend them for the primary care uh, of your shoes. I mean, a wax polish will give you that nice shine and a little bit of protection, uh, but you really need to be using a cream polish as part of your uh, shoe shine routine. Here on the boot you can see, I mean it's especially damaged and so again that pigment is going to help recolor uh, the leather, it's going to help conceal any of those scuffs or scratches and so you really want to work that in there. Okay, so this boot looks good. We're going to let that polish dry. Again, very important to allow that polish time to dry. Not only uh, the more time you give it, the more that the leather is able to absorb, absorb uh, the nutrition, the nourishment, uh, but also it allows the hard waxes, or in this case, I guess the softer waxes since this is a soft wax polish, but it allows those waxes to dry and set uh, so that whenever you buff them, they shine. So uh, I've applied the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish, nice generous application, again concealing those scuffs and scratches, uh, evening out that finish. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to allow this a little bit of time to dry, uh, but while I'm doing that, uh, one of the things that I noticed again is just the condition of the heels. I mean this heel stack is beginning to split a little bit, it's a little bit discolored. Uh, so one of the things that I want to do here is to try to recolor these a little bit. And one of my favorite products to use uh, for edge dressing is actually just a little bit of cream polish. Uh, here I'm going to use a dark brown and then a little bit of mirror gloss to kind of wax and shine that over. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can apply this. We're just going to do it with our finger here. Uh, and you can see this kind of has a red tinge to it. Uh, I really think that the dark brown is going to look better. Um, and, you know, just apply it with your fingers uh, or chamois. I'm going to do it with my chamois in this case, just so that I don't get so dirty. Um, but, you know, apply it in there. Again, any cream polish is going to be slightly pigment or slightly transparent. Uh, the pigment's going to be a little transparent, so it's not going to totally change the look of this, but it's going to help darken it a little bit. We'll add some wax polishes on there. That'll help also. If I really wanted to take this to a dark brown, uh, I could use uh, some leather dye um, and then use the polish over that. But here we're just going to see what we can get just with a little bit of polish. A lot of people save the edges for the end. Uh, I really like to do them kind of in the middle just because you need to buff the cream out of the edges uh, and heels. And if you've got the upper looking uh, all beautiful, and then you go to buff the edges. Oftentimes you can distort or disturb that finish. Yeah, these are rough edges and heels, so you know there's going to be a little bit of a functional limit in just what a cream polish can do. Now really, if I wanted to do a thorough kind of rework here, what I would do is I'd sand the edges and heels to even them out. And then I would uh, re-dye them using the Saphir leather dye, the alcohol based. Uh, and then I would ink them kind of in the manner that I'm doing right now.
Okay, so let's see. Cream polish has had a little bit of time to dry here. Uh, and so, again, it's not tacky to that touch. And so we're gonna just buff the entire boot. I mean, the edges and the heels kind of all at the same time. I'm actually gonna start first just with the pig bristle brush, especially on a textured leather like this ostrich. It's nice to have a little bit of the additional stiffness of a pig bristle brush. And we're just gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna get the heel also, and you can see, you know, after just even a little bit of wax or cream polish, it's starting to shine. It's a little bit darker, and I think we'll really finish it off once we get the, uh, the mirror gloss on there. Okay, so we've got that buffed off. Again, you can see we've got a more even pigmentation here, right? You can see a little bit of a soft shine. I mean, that's what you get from a cream polish. Um, and the boots are starting to look a lot better. You can tell uh, that the uh, leg has darkened. That's because, again, we conditioned it. And then if you look at the heels, um, you know, they look better. I mean, we've darkened them a little bit with that dark brown polish. Again, if I really wanted something transformative, I could have used uh, uh, a dark brown leather dye, like an alcohol-based leather dye, and then done this. Uh, but this is enough to kind of take it a little bit of a shade darker. And then we're gonna still add some mirror gloss on top of that. So I think to finish the boots off, you know, just to give them a little bit of a nice pop, a nice shine to further protect uh, the leather, uh, what we're gonna do is one final coat of a medium brown wax polish. Now this is the Pat Deluxe again kind of an all-natural pine-based turpentine. You know, really great product. Uh, I'm gonna apply this with the chamois. And then while we're allowing that wax to dry, we're also gonna apply some mirror gloss uh, to the heels and the edges, just to give those a little bit of a shine. The hard waxes will help smooth it off, um, make it look cleaner, and this will actually uh, really uh, make a big difference. So uh, let's get to work. Now, I'm not going for a spitz shine. I mean, this is a, a casual boot. I mean, ostrich leather, or ostrich leg in this case, uh, has a nice kind of grainy texture to it. So it's not something I'm trying to put a high shine onto. We just want to add a little bit of wax for some protection, uh, you know, to help elevate that shine a little bit, um, you know, to make it pop, but nothing like what you would find on like a black cap to Oxford. So next we're gonna move on to the mirror gloss. Uh, really just on the edges and heels. The purpose here uh, is to just build that finish. This you can see is really dried quite considerably. considerably. So I'm just gonna apply this rather thick. And I'm gonna smooth it out with my fingers or chamois.
Now the secret of using the mirror gloss for the edge uh, dressing is you really want a relatively thick application. Uh, you want that buildup of hard waxes. Uh, and generally, I just like to apply it once. I mean, you could shine the edges and heels just like you do a mirror shine with a million small coats to build a beautiful kind of mirror, but that's overkill. So since that's a thick coat, it's just gonna take a while to dry. Now with the mirror gloss, I mean, it's really quite common for it to crack like this. So, I mean, one of the things, if you really wanna use your chamois, uh, all you have to do is just kinda of like press it back down uh, and uh, you can work, work it with your chamois I used my fingers before, but I think I'm going to apply with the chamois here. And again, this is just because the mirror gloss, uh, by design, uh, has such a hard content or high concentration of those hard waxes and a low solvent uh, ratio. It's just a little bit more prone to cracking than something like the Pat Deluxe, which is a really wet polish. Okay, so we've allowed the wax polish a little bit of time to dry. Now it's time for the final touch, which is that final buff. Again, uh, because it's a textured leather, uh, I'm gonna buff it with the pig bristle brush. I just love the stiffness of a good pig bristle brush. Otherwise, the horsehair would be fine, but let's see what we can get with this. I'm gonna buff the heels and the edges too. I allowed it a little bit of extra time so that hard wax polish on the mirror gloss was able to dry. Whoa, look at that. I mean, that's amazing after just a little bit of, <laughs> this is why I love the mirror gloss. I mean, it is such an exceptional, uh, you know, a tool to kind of finish your edges and heels. I mean, just a little bit of a buff, hardly even tried, already has a nice shine. Ugh, such a great product. So let's, let's get to work here. Yep, I mean, this is the moment that makes it all worth it. I mean, just look at how these boots are lighting up. Totally new lease on life. Let's get the second boot done and see how this looks. Mm. So there we are. I mean, look at this. Exceptional. I mean, look at the nice shine. I mean, this is a totally new pair of boots, I have to say. I mean, you can really tell just how much it needed to be conditioned and polished. And it just goes to show you a little bit of polish goes a long way. These boots look totally new. I mean, look at the nice shine on the edge, uh, the heel. I mean, again, look at how that's just lit up. I mean, all I used was a little bit of the Saphir Pomodier Cream Polish and the Mirror Gloss. And I have to say, uh, this looks exceptional. So uh, there we are. This is how I shine a pair of cowboy boots. I think they look exceptional. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, I just used a little bit of Saphir Renovator, the Saphir Universal Cream Polish, of course, a pigmented cream polish, the Saphir Pomoneer Cream Polish in medium brown, uh, and then a little bit of dark brown uh, cream polish for the edges and heels, a little bit of Pat Deluxe to give that nice final shine to the uppers, and a little bit of dark brown mirror gloss for the edges and heels, and I have to say, these boots look great. 
I'm Kirby Allison and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while discovering the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do by clicking the red subscribe button in the top right hand corner and turning on your notifications by clicking the bell so that you can learn whenever we release new videos on this channel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. It's the best way to stay up to date as to what's going on here in our world. And if you haven't visited KirbyAllison.com, I invite you to do so. Everything that I used in today's video, of course, can be purchased online at KirbyAllison.com, where we have the largest collection of luxury garment care, luxury shoe care accessories, and other great clothing accessories like this sovereign grade tie that I'm wearing right now. This is a beautiful navy and silver stripe. You can see it works perfectly with this double-breasted suit that I'm wearing today. I'm Kirby Allison, and thanks for watching.